Hello everybody, this is just a short video on some small updates I have done to my uh, gear list. I'm at the point now that it's so dialed in, it's really just a matter of, you know, fine-tuning, replacing small things, but um, I'll put a link as usual in the description below to my uh, gear list, but I don't see it changing that much. I think maybe next year I'll do a video, uh, you know, showing off uh, my, my three season gear list again, but uh, I'm very happy with it. It's actually the happiest I've ever been with my three season kit. I just have to flip or swap, swap out a few things for, uh, you know, different seasons. Um, but yeah, I don't see that changing too much, but there were a few small things I recently upgraded to. And also uh, uh, there's something else I want to talk about when it comes to consumables uh, as well. I finally broke down and I changed up a, a bit uh, how I calculate my base pack weight. So we can get into that. I guess we'll start there then. Um, so you notice I've taken up uh, the consumables from my ditty bag. This is like my toiletries ditty bag. Um, and this is like an ancient Z-Pax um, DCF shoulder pad or shoulder pouch, excuse me, that I have been using for many years now uh, as my ditty bag. And inside I only have a travel tooth brush and then in the pocket here i have a small synthetic towel and this uh, these three things come that comes out to about 35 or it comes out to 35 grams and what i have been doing over the years is i just kind of i'll weigh things depending on all the consumables and the weight changes all the time and i got sick of changing the weight in my uh, lighter pack so i said you know what screw it i'm going to take out my consumable stuff and i'm going to uh, you know, have that, you know, marked as consumable. I'm sick of changing it. Um, but you can see I have some alcohol gel and some biodegradable soap. I've had both of these little dropper bottles for many years now. Just a travel size, um, uh, you know, toothpaste and then some TP and tissues here. So what I did to calculate it, I listed as 50 grams and I just add five grams. And that's actually pretty conservative. I could have been a stickler, but I decided to, you know, round up here, you know, five grams per uh, container, you know, the plastic of these three things. Um, this wouldn't probably even weigh a gram, the, the plastic on the tissues. But yeah, so that's my, you know, toiletries ditty bag. It hasn't changed in a very long time. The only small difference lately has been uh, just toothpaste. I used to get toothpaste tabs for several years. I got these uh, nice toothpaste tabs, but uh, it became a chore to go out of my way to find toothpaste tabs when I can just get this at any pharmacy will have that. Uh, so that's that. So I can put that aside and talk about my first aid kit for a bit. Uh, it'd been some time since I kind of uh, upgraded it or went through it. It's a good idea to, you know, uh, shake down your first aid kit just to see if like the band-aids are still good the medication is still good and all that but there were a few things i honestly was not using and so i got rid of them and my first aid kit got um a bit lighter as a result this is a nice um dcf uh, pouch so this is waterproof and it folds down and it's seam sealed which is nice but i'll just dump everything out it's been a while since i've shown off my this is both my first aid kit and my repair kit so i'll show you everything at once this is duct tape uh that's i just wrapped around this is a pokemon card that i put some clear tape on like an old beat up pokemon card of my my kids so then it was i thought uh, like a nice um you know size to wrap some duct tape on i actually could even go with less duct tape this is like maybe a meter or more on here but a little bit extra just to kind of play it safe there's that in this little plastic baggie I have, um, you know, for my sleep pad, I have some nylon tape from Z-Pack, some tenacious tape for repairs, the various band-aids, and I, I also get the nicer um, band-aids that have kind of like the Luco tape, very, like, uh, good quality band-aids. You shouldn't skimp on band-aids, it's really, you know, not that big a deal, and it makes a big difference when you're out in the field. Uh, next, ibuprofen, no surprise there. Small pack of matches and double protected just in case. Um, but again, this is like, you know, in a DCF bag, in a plastic bag. And then I have a poncho that I use as rain gear, so it's going to be pretty safe. Here's my sewing kit. It's pretty minimal. 
uh, you can see there's a needle inside of this plastic um, this plastic uh, it's for drywall like when you put a screw into drywall and I thought this would be perfect to keep a needle in there and so I believe I put a little piece of cork in the end and then put that inside the plastic like little tube and then there's a thread a spool of thread and just a few buttons just in case in here are some tweezers uh, I actually replaced my tick tweezers with just regular tweezers because this serves more, more of a purpose. I can not only take out splinters or, you know, um, pull out an ingrown hair or whatever. Um, and I can also use this for ticks as well. So I thought this was more functional. And it was only a penalty of like, I think, three or four grams. This uh, tweezer uh, weighs more than the tick tweezers. And I just put an old pen cap on it to prevent it from poking the um, DCF pouch. And you can see it, it holds fast. It's not going to slip off. And finally in here, a uh, string, safety pin, rubber band, a extra bottle cap for my water bottles, more on that later. And I, that's it. I took out the things I took out. Uh, it was like a small pencil and a small piece of paper that honestly, I just never ever used it. I, I thought, oh, it could be good to write something down, but with phones now and then batteries. And then I thought if, I, if it was an emergency, I could always just, um, you know, scratch something into the dirt or do something you know to send some kind of emergency message um so yeah i ditched a few uh, items and so now i think all this comes out to like 55 grams which is pretty good so first aid and repair kit and now um what should i talk about next since i brought up the water bottles um because of the spare cap i can talk about uh, these are the water bottles that i use they're just recycled uh, plastic water bottles. I replace them whenever they get a bit worn out and I've been better about replacing water bottles because of uh, my own concerns about just using uh, plastic and then if it wears down getting chemicals you know leaching into the water. I know this is me maybe being paranoid but just to be on the safe side I just switch out the plastics. Uh, one has a sports cap that's if I want to use for a makeshift uh, bidet if I so desire or want to or need to then also for irrigation if there's some kind of you know bad injury and I really want to irrigate a wound it's uh, nice to have this to like squirt clean water into uh, and then the other one is just a regular soda bottle cap and that's the spare cap here just in case I lose either one of these uh, I went back to regular plastic bottles after using um, I can show you what, what to match this is a Hydra pack, um, like little cup, which uh, I love this little cup, but I was trying out the water bottles by Hydra pack. And for the weight penalty, I didn't really see it as worth it. I like them and I might take them on a through hike. So I wouldn't have to like, you know, replace water bottles all the time. But for me as a, as a perpetual section hiker, I thought uh, the weight wasn't worth it. And they're kind of floppy. These I can stand up and they're, you know, don't get, as you know knocked over as easily so I decided to stick with just pla recycled recycled plastic water bottles for um, like half the weight too but yeah I'm keeping the cup though I'm really happy with this cup and this actually saved me a lot of weight as opposed to like a, I used to have a silicone foldable mug um, this does the job just as well uh, it the only thing is that it is slightly bulkier but you can see kind of you know it's very floppy and it mashes down so it's not that big of a deal inside of here I can also keep my uh, Sawyer squeeze in there, uh, which helps with, you know, just packing it. Uh, yeah, I've already talked about how I keep my Sawyer squeeze in another video in a little mesh pouch. And that little mesh pouch doubles as a, like a, like a filter, like a pre-filter for water. If it's like, especially grimy or has debris in it or whatever, there's that. Now, some, some new purchases. These are some new things. I guess I'll talk about this is something I think most all ultralight backpackers have at this point. So I kind of jumped on the band bandwagon late, but because I've been into the outdoors for so long, now it's been over 25 years, which is a hot minute. And um, I just have been used to digging cat holes with sticks and just, you know, it takes a little bit of extra time, but I thought, ah, I don't feel like, you know, dealing with buying a spade and then the weight of the spade. But honestly, the this is like, so, you know, you can see here it's like 16 grams. Um, it, I thought, what the hell? Uh, it, I'm getting older. It makes things easier. The fiddle factor. 
Um, I have not tested it out yet, and this is a recent acquisition, um, but I'm looking forward to just having, you know, things be easier when I'm out on the trail and I need to dig a cat hole, and not just cat holes, if I want to dig a hole for whatever other reason, then I have that. And also, uh, you can use this as a emergency tent stake too. So if you one of your tent stakes gets lost or damaged or whatever, you could, you know, loop a guy line in here and then put this into the ground. So there's that. And finally, I upgraded um, my beanie and my gloves with these are Houdini. I um, just, I've had these old Merino, I had a like a, a matching set of like Merino liner gloves and a Merino beanie. And they work, you know, just fine. And I kind of just forgot about them because the weight was not bad. Uh, I think, you know, all together, um, it was like, I think 60 or 65, you know, for the whole thing. Uh, I can't remember off the top of my head, but uh, I've heard very good things about these. And I also really like uh, wrist skaters because this gives me uh, easier access to do things with fine motor skills, like not only foam, right, but also if I need to tie like, uh, you know, uh, uh, knot or something if I'm pitching my tarp or if I'm um, fiddling around with zippers and stuff it just it's I think wrist skaters are really nice and these also weigh uh, less than the liner gloves the merino liner gloves and they're very warm this is made from this polar tech uh, polyester which is very very warm and also uh, should be more durable uh, too though I didn't have any problems with the durability of the merino in fairness but I did have to wash them and um, because the fingers would get grimy from me touching everything, I'm hoping this would also um, would get less wear and tear just from not having the fingers. Beanie, I don't really have to say much. This is just a polyester beanie and it's going to do the identical job of my Merino beanie. It's just much lighter. Um, it's like, I think, 20 grams or 21 grams versus, you know, 30 grams for my Merino. And it fits me better. Um, this one is... Also, uh, the sizing is better. Uh, this is a size medium, and I can wear that under my cap. I have a trucker's cap that I hike in, and so if it's cold in the morning or at night, I could also, you know, double up, have this underneath the cap. So that's it. Those are just some uh, small things, but small things are very important. A few new things, right? Uh, as I said before, I don't see any big major changes in my three-season gear list, but in the future, think before I do my next big section hike, I may uh, do a video just showing off the same old stuff, I guess, uh, if you're if anybody's still interested. Um, yeah, all right. Thanks for watching. Hope this was helpful. I've been meaning to show off kind of like some of the little things for some time now anyway, uh, too, because it's been a while. You can check out my channel and see like an older, you know, small things video where I show off my older first aid kit and my uh, ditty bag and you'll see if you're interested to see how it changed and it, it's probably not that much but yeah all right thanks for watching uh take care goodbye